these parts of Bujasere district, some of the most visible aspects of the city in terms of housing and in some parts of Kigali city, the problem of lack of clean water continues to be the constant issue where the residents travel long distances and others pay a lot of money for it, whilst another group of people just settle for stagnant water. The common request that they all have is that the authorities responsible for solving this problem of clean water will increase the speed in the projects in this regard. There are many obstacles regarding the lack of water issue. We fetch water from far and even the water that we get is not sanitized at all, coming from Nyabarongo and swamps. Getting to such water is an enough struggle as it is, to point where those who don't have as much energy get left behind. They should speed up the water projects because they already brought reservoirs and wells. We are now waiting for water. I currently stay in an area where we last received water in last days of March. Every day since then, I use 1,500 francs. You understand that that's another necessity added to the amount of money I should be spending to sustain my living standards. They say that in June, water will be available. Up to now, the tank has been built, but the process is really slow. For example, this water that I'm fetching, when I don't have sanitized water, this is what I use for cooking. Of course, the side effects derived are worms. These water projects that have started, we only hope that it will be completed by October so that at least then we can have sanitized water. There are projects that are already in works in Widyasara district that show that the water shortage in that area might be a thing of the past very soon. One of the operations will be the two storage facilities that will store some 320,000 cubic meters of water some of which will be directed to the Widyasere International Airport, the other will be directed to Nyamata, but parts of Narama will also have access to it. Rwanda received a loan of $96 million from the African Development Bank from the construction and distribution of water plants in Kigali and its sub-cities. Rguibasira Savier, project coordinator at Wasak, says this will make the water available to the community. In Kigali, there is a project being implemented that is far from the Kanzeze factory, and the construction of water pipes in Kigali and Bujasera is still in full swing. And we expect that the water plant will be completed by the end of September. There is even an attempt to supply water to those in need, so that by December, water will reach all Rwandans living in Kigali and Bujasera. Here, we are counting on the fact that everyone in Kigali uses 120 liters we see that every citizen will have access to water and also have excess of it. We are left to look out for when the city's population increases so that we can add to the supply. Construction work on the Kanzeze plant is currently at 88% completion rate and will provide 40,000 cubic meters per day, while Widyasera district will receive 10,000 francs per day in support of the Kanyonyomja factory, which currently provides 5,000 cubic meters per day, where water distribution works, the factory has reached at 45% rate. Measurements taken by Wasag show that in the city of Kigali, water from various industries will be enough to supply the city as it will be available at 3,151,000 cubic meters a day while 140,000 is needed. Zone industries will produce 3,105,000 cubic meters per day. Kanzenze will export to Kigali 330,000 cubic meters per day, while Chimisagara will normally produce 24,000 cubic meters and Karenje will export 12,000 cubic meters per day. This also gives hope that under the seven-year government program, NST1 aims to ensure that the urban population gets access to water and does not have to travel more than 200 meters and that those staying in the village won't travel more than 500 meters, which will be achieved at a rate of 100%. Martina Abera, RTV News.